This video, I want to share my past experiences and the lessons I learned, also the kind of habits I have maintained that helped me a lot in order to achieve my goal. This video is suitable for you if you're early in your career and you don't know what you want to do or you know exactly what you want to do but you feel like it's too far away from you and you just couldn't reach your goal. First lesson I want to share with you guys is that many people think they lack motivation as to how to achieve their goals but in reality what they really lack is clarity. I remember that after I graduated from my master's degree in Cambridge, there was this period that I didn't really know what I wanted to do next. So at that period, I was a bit lost and I didn't really know where I should apply my job, whether I should stay in the UK or go back to my home country. Uh, later on, I made up my mind and decided to stay. The next question is how can I achieve that? I have no idea what I should do because it is a completely different legal market. It is a completely different environment. I also don't have the network of support that I had back to my home country. I remember every day I have a small goal for myself. After I moved to London, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. I will sit at Costa Coffee, one of the coffee shops in London, and I will force myself to finish at least one application questions from a law firm after a month or two, I finished almost 30 job applications because I stick to this small plan. At the end, I still got rejected by all the firms I applied to. However, those experiences actually helped me with my next few rounds of job applications. And at the end, I got the offer at a firm I wanted to work for. I think these stories kind of tell me and also you guys that what we need is to gain clarity as to the steps we need to take to achieve that goal. No matter how much I like sharing motivational posts on LinkedIn or Instagram, motivation alone can never get you where you want to be. According to science, people who actually set out specific plans as to when and where they want to achieve their goal or to develop a new habit are more likely to follow through. In reality, many people or students, they want to achieve a specific goal without having all those basic details laid out. That is the main problem. Many of us tell ourselves we are going to write more applications to get a job or I'm going to finish my assignment a bit earlier this time. Yet we never say when and how these things are going to happen. Therefore, it's very common to see people who are so motivated to start with uh, developing a new goal or new habit but at the end they just give up because they don't know the exact things or steps they should take in order to achieve that goal but a goal is a very long-term thing sometimes we need the small details and steps in order to achieve that that's what most people nowadays are lacking the second lesson i learned is that focus on what truly matters at the moment right now i remember when i was in my undergraduate uh, law degree I had this dream of getting into Cambridge because it was my dream school at the time. However, my grades weren't that good compared to all other candidates. And I realized that even if I got the best possible grade in my final year of law school, I probably could not still get into Cambridge just because of my grades compared to the best students in other universities across the world. So I know that my focus shouldn't be to just get a good grade because that wouldn't really help me with my mission into Cambridge anyway. So I changed my strategies. I focused on publishing articles on my own. So in that one year of my law school, I focused on writing articles, drafting, sending them to different kinds of journals. And at the end, I published almost three articles in that single year. And that helped me get into Cambridge. So that story kind of helps you that what is very important in your life right now is to identify your priority. Have you ever felt like you know exactly what you want to do? However, you always don't find the time to do the right thing to achieve that particular goal. I think that is a very common problem among uh, people nowadays because we have so many other commitments. When we want to achieve something, but we don't see the result we want to see, it is very often because of the fact that you don't prioritize your goals enough so that you get lost in the sea of a thousand other important things. One thing I've learned in the past years is that we need to realize that 
not every single thing is important at this stage of your life and you need to start realizing that only a few things actually truly matter right now that you need to do I remember there's this one quote from one of my favorite books, uh, The Alchemist. If you really want something, the whole universe will conspire to help you achieve it. It might sound cliche, however, there's a logic behind it. If you prioritize your task, you know what exactly you need to do at the moment. You will take every single action that kind of help you achieve that goal. That definitely will increase your chance of success. Many people focus so much time on something that doesn't really matter or doesn't really help them achieve their goal. If you know that right now what you want is a job or a graduate position or a training contract in a law firm, have you drafted enough application to achieve that goal? Have you submitted any application at all? This should be a problem you think about whether you prioritize that goal enough at the moment at this stage of your life. And the third lesson I learned from the past is that we have to celebrate our small wins. I remember three years ago I had this uh, goal for myself to become an international lawyer. However, this is such a generic and big goal. That's why I break my goal uh, down into a few other aspects. For example, I decided uh, to take the New York Bar exam on my own. This is definitely one part of this big goal. And another one is I applied for a job in the UK as well. Lastly, I also tried to secure some international internships in intergovernmental organizations. That's why I applied to an organization in Italy and I stayed there for three months. All those goals actually align with my big goal of becoming an international lawyer. And that's why every time, even though I felt uh, a particular sub goal, I still have other sub goals I need to work on so that I don't feel demotivated easily. Because if one route doesn't work out, I still have other options or I can still do other things. Big goals are only good for long-term planning purposes. However, as time passes by, it could become a heavy burden and a haunting reminder of what you haven't achieved at this moment. Therefore, you need to continuously record your small wins in order to keep yourself motivated. And this is actually backed by science. According to a study in Harvard Business Review, it was conducted to analyze 10,000 diary entries from employees in different companies they found the efforts of tracking small achievement every day enhanced those workers' motivation. That's one reason why many people benefit from a to-do list, because the satisfaction you get uh, from taking off a small task from the list is linked to a spike in dopamine in your brain. It will make you want to repeat that behavior again and again. You have a general goal, break it down into different aspects or in a different task so that you can achieve your goal by pursuing those small tasks. And the last thing I learned in the past that helped me a lot is you need to change the, the environment in order to make building good habits easier. For example, some people want to wake up earlier every day, but they fail to do so. It's because they put their alarm next to their bed and every day they just stop the alarm and then go to bed again. So how can you make a micro adjustment to help you develop this habit more easily? I read this somewhere else and I find it very interesting. Why don't you, for example, push the phone at the bottom of your bed so that every day you wake up, you need to crawl through the floor and then search for the phone and then, you know, stop the alarm. That process itself makes you awake already so that you probably would just might as well start your day. That's a very good example of how you can just make some micro adjustment to your environment that can actually help you develop that good habit more easily. And also from my personal experiences, say I want to keep exercising even though uh, the city is in lockdown. Many people may have the excuse that, okay, gym is closed. You could, for example, buy resistant bands or like dumbbells from Amazon. You change the environment with more equipment to help you achieve that goal or to develop a good habit. Uh, likewise, if you want to apply for a job, why don't you set up a default page of your Google search engine uh, to be, you know, a training contract application link 
to a particular firm so that every time you turn on your laptop and then you open the website you will see the trading contract application page as i mentioned uh, earlier motivation is not what you really need in order to build good habits to achieve your goals here i want to recommend a book by benjamin hardy willpower doesn't work benjamin hardy explains that because relying on willpower doesn't always work. You need to engineer your environment by removing the triggers for unwanted behavior. There are always ways for you to make micro adjustments to your environment, which help you achieve that particular goal or develop a better habit in the long run. So those are the four lessons or tips I want to share with you guys in this video. Again, I'm by no means an expert on this topic. However, I did a lot of research on that in the past and I just want to share my experiences and knowledge with some of you who may find it useful. Sometimes the differences between those who actually achieve their goals and those who fail to achieve their goals is usually the subtle difference they make to their life. So I really encourage you guys to make those micro adjustments to your life and to develop very good habits that can help you with your future in terms of your career, your physical well-being or mental well-being. So if you guys love this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also comment down below about your thoughts. Other than that, follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn where I will share my personal journey as an incoming lawyer in London. And I will also share some motivational posts for you guys who are pursuing your goal at the moment. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.